Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, so today I wanted to do a video for you guys that my best friend, Rihanna, shout out to you girl, thank you, suggested that I do. So basically, I need to get a new passport. My passport has run out and I do not want to go another 10 years having a dusty passport photo. So she kind of suggested to me, why don't you make a video like showing people how to do their makeup so they can take a bomb passport picture because you won't have that passport for 10 whole years and I'm trying to travel a lot more. I want to start doing a lot of travel vlogs for you guys and it means that I need to make sure my passport is looking 10 out of 10. So when she suggested this video, I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. I never thought about doing this type of video. So I want to do that for you guys today. I've got all my makeup set up. I'm going to go for a very simple, very natural looking makeup, but yet it's still a little bit of glam, you know? You want to look a little bit spicy for the photo. So yeah, I'm going to do a talk through video. I am the greatest at multitasking, so if this video is a little bit long, I hope that the conversation is very... Um, enticing and entertaining and you guys enjoy it whilst also learning how to take your passport pictures all right so i'm going to just get straight into it now and show you guys what i'm going to be doing i need to start off by priming my face i've already moisturized my face and yeah i just need to like do all the other stuff before i get into this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um but yeah let's just get straight into the makeup now going to do is prime my face and I want to use this Fenty Beauty primer. I have run out of makeup recently. I don't really have a lot of makeup um, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to use up most of the makeup that I have because I'm someone who loves makeup right and if you love makeup you will end up just having a loads and loads and loads of makeup that you just don't ever use and you kind of have your go-to products that you always use and then other products just end up kind of getting pushed to the back of the collection and then makeup goes off so i'm trying to use up most of the things that i have before buying anything new just so that i can just use these stuff enjoy these products and then buy some new stuff um recently i've been trying to change up my makeup routine a little bit before i was always using my maybelline Ooh, what's it called my maybelline 24 hour foundation i want to say is that anyway i was using maybelline before like every single day that was my go-to makeup for my everyday makeup for my glam makeup and a lot of my other products got neglected so i want to use my nars today um and like i said terrible at multitasking so i just want to talk to you guys obviously just about life i want to use three pumps just about life and yeah i keep saying that i just want to talk to you guys about the things that's been really on my mind recently and i don't know mm, yeah so recently i've really been thinking about just the world and the way things are and how people are and trying to just figure out my place in this world you know i don't know um i guess this covid um pandemic has made me realize that there's so much of this life that i have not been living you know i'm someone who always gets into relationships and then i kind of forget about myself and hence why i'm going to take my passport pictures is because i really want to start traveling i want to go to different countries experience new cultures start learning new things and just expanding my network of people that i know and also just making content for you guys i love traveling i love eating different foods i love meeting new people from different countries and traveling to me is one of the biggest blessings in this world you know nothing takes away from traveling you will never regret spending money on traveling 
So I've like put together an itinerary plan of places that I want to go to and things I want to do and I really just want to get that ball rolling on making travel content for you guys. Also, um, leveling up and femininity. You guys know that this channel is a... Okay, so my doorbell just went off and I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to just do my eyebrows off camera because... I struggle doing my eyebrows by the way and I really need to get them threaded <laughs> because I feel as though I do them so much better and I love my eyebrows when I get them threaded and they're neat they're just easier to outline like right now I'm not loving them but I don't hate them either so it's fine um so I completely forgot what I was saying but I wanted to talk to you guys about body image and being slim and learning to love your slim physique um, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a long time, you'll know that, you know, before I was on this weight gaining journey, I was doing a petamine and my YouTube got deleted and that's a whole other story that I'm going to get into in a second. But, you know, I was really trying to gain weight. I was trying to be slim thick and I, I just, I never hated my body, but I wasn't in love with my body, I guess. I guess I always wanted to be... Um, thicker I never thought my body was quote unquote womanly um so you know I took this syrup and I was trying to gain weight and all of this stuff and I wouldn't recommend anyone to take this um syrup because I just don't think you should force it I think if you want to gain weight try to do it the natural way and also this serum this syrup this vitamin syrup is not actually legal and after doing a lot of research into it i realized that it wasn't a good product for me to be promoting so i stopped doing that um but anyway so i just wanted to talk about you know loving our body and this channel is really aimed at girls who are like me girls who are slim girls who struggle to gain weight girls who are not confident within themselves who might struggle with their weight and their body and feel as though they're not good enough or they don't look like the instagrammable type of girl and i just want to let you guys always know like i'm always pushing for you guys to know that your body is amazing you look good as you are you don't need to have a big old donkey booty and big boobs and you don't need to do that those are not my values and that is not what i try to promote now that's not even the type of person i am you know now i'm all about femininity and being the best woman you can be upgrading yourself and learning about yourself and educating yourself and just becoming a good pe rounded person and when it comes to your body i still hear girls saying that they don't like their bodies and they're really slim and i just want to say enjoy embrace your body there was one person i was looking at recently um what's her name Chantal jeffries and it's so crazy she came across on my facebook and it's so 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 amazing to see the way she has changed herself i mean she was one of them tazzy's angel girl for a bit i think justin bieber kind of brought her into the scene and i think when she first came on the scene she was definitely doing that she had like these ridiculously big boobs that she had um gotten done and then i think she just kind of decided that she didn't want to have those big boobs that like, it made her look almost like a blob though you know when you have your boob boobs ridiculously big people are going to sexualize you you are going to become a sexual object of a male's desire and she kind of reduced her breast size she got her breast reduction and her breast looks absolutely amazing i think she even went back to her normal boobs and i look at pictures of her and even her bum and the way her body was or the type of clothes she would she would wear back then i definitely feel that she was trying to go for that bbl body that everyone was doing and i think that trend is actually wearing off i think a lot of girls nowadays are not really even feeling that type of body that body isn't the go-to body no more that's not the body that most people are aspiring for anymore people want to look natural people want to look you know healthy and having a big old donkey booty and being slim thick is not attractive i mean so this is go back to what i was saying about petamine so i was obviously doing all that the bbc reached out to me because they had a documentary that they're gonna make they reached out to me years and years, like a couple years ago saying they wanted me to be a part of this documentary this like the third and i was like yeah cool um 
They then reached back out to me and said, yeah, they've made this documentary. I was like, okay, I kind of left your girl out, but cool. And they said that they wanted to use my clip and I gave them permission. And somehow YouTube clamped down on people who were making content about this syrup because it's not good. It's not a drug that anyone should be promoting. And because my channel was heavily promoting it at the time, my YouTube got permanently deleted. Like permanently deleted, gone. I couldn't access none of my files. I couldn't access my um, YouTube. And I basically had to go through this process of fighting to get my youtube back you know because that's what it was it's I, like i was so terrified and ever since then i mean my channel is just not being as active i guess or i'm not getting the traction and i guess it's because a lot of the views i had before was coming from this weight gaining journey that i was doing and now i'm not doing that no more and i'm hoping that people can just learn to love their bodies and that can be something that that you guys follow me on this journey on is learning to eat healthy and be healthy i want to go in so much more depth about bodies and body types because i definitely feel that there is a body type that people shouldn't aspire for and all of this body positive stuff i have so much opinions and before i used to be afraid to share my opinions but now i'm just like i don't care like we all have opinions we all feel and think things and it's okay you know not to have the same opinions of other people that's what makes us individuals and now i'm just more geared towards speaking my mind and being open about myself and me personally i think being healthy is what people should be aspire for you know aspire to love your natural body aspire to eat healthy and not eat a load of junk food aspire to just maintain a healthy lifestyle go to the gym work out and all of that good stuff that's what i think that people should really be doing Anyway, so BBC asked me to be a part of this documentary. I said, cool, yeah, I would love to. YouTube got deleted, was gutted. I had to go through this whole process of trying to get my YouTube back. Anyway, um, I bring this up to say that I watched a documentary, you know, and someone said, oh, you know, Cardi B is slim thick and that's the body goals that they want. And all these basically Instagram girls who have these big booties, small waists, big or normal sized boobs they're slim thick and I was just like that is not what slim thick is to me like slim thick to me is being you know a little thick you got a little junk in the trunk you don't need to be a big old donkey booty um having your natural boobs whatever size they may be they don't need to be a double d they could just be a simple cute little d cup or b cup sorry or c cup and you are slim thick <laughs> you are slim but you are still thick but i think people refer to slim thick as oh you need to have this instagrammable body you need to be like thick to the guards to, to be classified as you know slim thick which i just think is wrong that's not the the type of body that anyone should be promoting and that was a body that i was aspiring for for a long time which i then decided that that's not what i wanted no more but anyway i was watching this documentary very interesting documentary um um you guys should check it out for sure um i do make a little appearance they don't even add my name or whatever but cool <laughs> but i just want to start talking a little bit more about that i don't want to go in too much depth right now because that's not really the content that i'm trying to do right now i'm trying to show you guys how to do this password picture and i haven't even explained to you guys what i've done so i'm going for a very natural look i hope you guys can see it's very subtle um i'm using my fenty setting powder right now because i really like it and it doesn't give me flashbacks so when that flash goes off I won't look ghostly. Um, I've gone for a really simple contour. I'm wearing a very simple white top because um, they, I think they zoom in on you anyway. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna do simple blush. This is almost just like an everyday simple makeup. You don't want to go OTT with the products. You don't want to have too harsh lines. So going back over and just blending things out is important so that everything just blends smoothly together. All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is Kevin Samuels. What do you guys think about Mr. Kevin Samuels? Like, I'm so... My guy friend put me onto Kevin Samuels a little while ago. Shout out to him. And I was interested in him for such a long time. And it's so crazy to see how his platform has just blown up and everyone's talking about him and he's so controversial. And I definitely want to chime in on some of these discussions because I got a lot to say and... 
you know some of the stuff I definitely agree with him on a lot of the stuff I agree with him on when it comes to people's expectations when it comes to masculinity when it comes to femininity um, when it comes to society when it comes to obedience when it comes to so many things you know education career I definitely agree with him and these individuals kind of bring it back and they speak their mind and they're really honest about the things that people don't want to say. We live in a society now where everyone's afraid to say how they feel and everyone's afraid to, you know, voice their opinion because they don't want to be um, branded as um, a bigot or narcissistic or, you know, um, what's the word? A misogynist or I don't know, just all of these titles that people come up with. Like Everyone's kind of quiet. Men don't really say how they feel about a lot of things. I don't believe in modern day feminism. I think it is toxic, like Candice Owen says, like um, Kevin Samuel says, I definitely think that it promotes just negativity and bad behavior and it, brands itself as being free and open and it's like no it's not it's not that it's just it's crazy but like i said a whole topic for another day but yeah let me know what you guys think about mr kevin samuels he's definitely someone who's very interesting to watch i love watching his content um i agree with a lot of the things that he says but sometimes i definitely disagree with some of his things the things he says i think he makes some he makes some very 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 um, what's the word like positive and true remarks i think his delivery is just horrific i think that's the problem that people have no actually to be fair no matter what he said people would have an issue with him regardless but i definitely do think that his delivery don't like my brows that much i definitely think that he could work on his delivery but that's just him that's his, the way he does his thing that's obviously what's worked for him that's what's built this audience of almost a million followers and a million people who agree with obviously what he says and whether they want to hate and say he's this or that you know you're still following him you're still talking about him and you know there's no such thing as bad publicity realistically so yeah um so that's what's been going on with me um i also went through this phase of feeling like i didn't really know what to do with my hair um that's just a quick one i want to touch on is that I actually recently relaxed my hair and then I was definitely you know naturalista and I'm still a naturalista girl I love girls who have their natural hair and shout out to you but I think for me and my lifestyle it just wasn't working out and I think this is the thing about life and I realized this about myself is we have these crazy expectations about ourselves. it's like one way or the other it's like your hair is either permed or it's um it's natural and it's like why if you want to have your hair permed today you want to you know be a part of the relaxed gang and just have your hair relaxed then relax your hair it's hair it grows back if tomorrow you then decide that okay i want my hair to now be natural you can shave that bad boy off and allow it to grow back natural we are so black and white especially women we're so extreme in our thinking and that's something i want us to work on on this channel is i want us to become more open-minded and i want my young girls or young gents anyone who's watching my channel or you know as a part of my community i want you guys to be more free spirited and not lock yourself into ideas or things like if today you feel like this go with that you know life is about redefining yourself and you're allowed to change your mind you're allowed to want your hair a certain type of way today you're allowed to want to be a certain type of way today and then tomorrow you're allowed to just decide that you just don't want that no more you know if this your life it's your choices and do whatever you want to do um i'm gonna pause there <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go in now with my morphe palette this is the, I think it's the 507, 350. The 350 palette, I love this palette, it's all full of natural colours. I'm going to start off by going in with this shade here, then probably this shade here. And then just, I'm kind of improvising basically. But yeah, it was just so black and white with things. And even me, I was so black and white with you know life and we box ourselves into this box and the thing is there is no box you know we create this box that you have to be a certain type where you have to live up to certain expectations you have to believe in certain things and 
you know you can change as a person this is what i talk about like when i talk about friendships and leveling up when you level up you will lose a lot of friends i mean it's crazy because i've lost a lot of friends since going on this journey and it's nothing personal you know everyone's got different life goals everyone's doing different things and that's okay but you know some people will try to hold you back and some people will try to hold you as a certain person maybe you was a certain type way before and they don't want you to be different they want to hold you because maybe they haven't grown and they want you to stay where you are with them or sometimes you just outgrow people people's lives go in different directions people want different things people are doing different things with their lives and that's okay you know sometimes i feel as though we hold on to relationships with people because of time and longevity i mean we do it all the time when it comes to romantic relationships you know you stay in a romantic situation with a guy because you're like oh well i've been with him for you know five years or i've been with him for 10 years like how can i leave you know i need to stay in this relationship even when the relationship is toxic you stay in these relationships and the thing is no if something doesn't make you happy leave like go you don't have to stay in situations or relationships that doesn't fulfill you you don't have to be with people who doesn't fulfill you we all outgrow people sometimes and that is okay it's a part of life to grow apart away from people and also it's a part of life to grow away and come back together i mean i have a friend who's one of my bestest friends she's someone who i literally grew up with her we were like high school we were batty and ben she's like my sister like she was she is my sister and you know i feel as though we both couldn't agree and say we both needed to separate we stopped being friends for a good few years and i'm happy we did she's happy she was because we were both able to go away and cultivate our other relationships and our other friendships and work on ourselves and become better people because sometimes when you stay in those friendships that you've been friends with for a long time you don't even realize that there's certain bad habits that you're used to talking a certain way or act in a certain way because you've always been like that with that friend you've always acted that way and they expect you to behave that way and when you try to change they might look at you like girl what you doing like or who are you trying to be you trying to be brand new or something and, da, 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 da. and it's like no we're allowed to change we're allowed to grow and like i said this friendship we were able to separate grow we both had a growth mindset as well which i think is really important you you need you need to align so she's someone like i said sister she's my, one of my rib cage i have like four friends who are my roots tyler perry talks about you have roots and branches leave i'm going to go talk about that in another video um one time and she is that she was that to me but we had to go apart we had to separate because i had ways about me that were not good and i needed to change and i needed to grow and she also had ways about her that she had to work on and she needed to change and she needed to grow and we both had to go our separate ways grow as individual like i say cultivate different relationships and friendships and now we were able to come back together and be like you know what girl i love you <laughs> like i love you i don't want to not have you in my life you're my sister you are a part of my life and you know i've had this three years or four years i can't remember how long it was i think it was like three years to grow into the woman we want to be i'm really not feeling this shimmer color i feel like it's really really um bright it's not really what i was going for so so this happens i'm gonna go over i did silly rookie move i use this color here because it looked pretty but i'm gonna go over it with this color next to it hopefully it tones it down a bit but yeah so like i was saying um we both had to just go our ways and grow as individuals and you know now coming back together as more mature adults i'm able to see that growth in her she's able to see that growth in me and we our relationship is just even better than what it was before because we've were different but we're still the same in the sense that we've always had the same values we've always had the same we've always had the same upbringing and the same morals and beliefs and stuff so in that that's great um so yeah so yeah when you decide when you do decide to kind of change and level up like so much things is gonna happen i can definitely um say that that's happened to me i remember when i first started my journey ages ago like what it's been like three four years ago now i never thought if you would have told me there were certain people who wouldn't be in my life anymore I'm like, Girl, you are lying you're lying 
but it's just life you know people grow people change and it's okay it's a part of life it, it just is what it is another thing as well for me personally is I've been thinking about is relocating I'd love to relocate to a different country I've been saying this for the longest time is that I would love to relocate I'd love to just meet someone somewhere else than the UK <laughs> and just relocate and start my life somewhere else with someone I think that'd be really awesome I think that's super super cool when people do that um I don't know let me know what you think have you ever relocated have you ever relocated for a relationship or whatever um, and let me know. So I'm just picking the glue off these lashes because I've worn them a few times and I haven't taken the glue off. Um, I'm gonna come off camera and I'm gonna put these lashes on and then I'll come back. Um, we're basically almost done. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. I'm really happy I toned down the shimmer on your eyes because you don't want it to be, you want it very subtle. And I like to think that this looks really subtle. I'm looking at it like, mm, but it is really subtle. <laughs> Um, once I put my lashes on it will look even better and then it's just a bit of lippy and straightening my hair and showing you guys the final look so yeah I'm gonna be back put my lashes on and I'll come back and talk to you guys in a sec okay guys so I've put my lashes on off camera I also quickly straightened my hair for your passport picture your hair does have to be behind your ear so you want to make sure that your baby hairs are on fleek I've decided not to style my baby hair because I feel as though baby hair standards change year after year and maybe in like five years time I won't like the overly done baby hair so I'm just gonna have my hair all back like this I'm just gonna tuck it behind my ears keeping it real simple real cute real simple I feel like if you keep it simple then even in six years time you won't completely hate your makeup and all that stuff I did realize though that I haven't contoured my nose and I love contouring my nose like this I need my nose to be snatched you know what I'm saying like I need it to in the picture <laughs> so um yeah so I can't even remember what I was saying to you guys but um I have so much stuff to talk about on my channel I'm kind of back and I'm better I was like just I haven't posted as consistently in the last few weeks because I've had a lot of stuff going on and you know what sometimes it's okay just to take break it's like it's okay but now she is back and I'm ready to make some content for you guys so if you are on this womanhood journey this leveling up journey then come join me I definitely have a lot to say and I ain't afraid to open my mouth and talk you know I was before afraid to speak my mind but now I just don't care I want to tackle some of the things that people say such as Kevin Samuels and talk about it further give my little spin on it and see what you guys think talk to you guys about life obviously travel enjoy and just continue just doing the best and helping you guys on this journey you guys know i started my business this year it's called tenacious goddess it's all about leveling up it's about womanhood so make sure you follow that instagram and everything will be left in the description box down below it's just a space i have a podcast i have a blog i have obviously an instagram and we just really explore all the issues that comes with femininity, leveling up. I am a woman's life coach, so if you guys need help, you need that one-to-one -one tuition, then send me an email and someone in my team will get back to you. Um, so yeah, but you know, this year has been a great year. We're growing, we're learning, we're changing, and we're growing into tenacious young women. You know, my company is called Tenacious Goddess. And that's what I want. I want you ladies to love your body. You know, your body is your temple, for real. I know we say it, but it is. And a lot of the stuff in mainstream media these days, just it's just ridiculous. Like the things that I see and the way people behave and the culture that we live in and ratchet behavior being promoted, it's just, it's crazy. And I want to change that narrative with my platform. I want to talk about something different than twerking and showing your boobs and being promiscuous and just using your body as a sexual object. Um, I want to talk about family values, how to love yourself as well, body image, how to love yourself, how to understand yourself and how to grow into the woman that you want to be, essentially so i just added a little bit of highlight i hope you guys are liking this look i'm kind of looking down into my monitor and i'm thinking yeah it looks good so i'm just gonna go for a little natural lip color as well just to finish this look um i love this lip liner it's called urban cafe is it urban cafe by nyc yeah, urban cafe 
NYX, super affordable. And I just love it. I love overlining my lips, so that is what I'm gonna do. And also, London has opened back up. Bars are opening up, restaurants are opening up. I'm like loving it right now. In a couple of weeks' time, restaurants will have opened up. I'm just trying to enjoy spending time with my girlfriends and going out and making amazing memories with my loved ones and my friends and stuff and just enjoying life like this whole covid stuff has really taught me that life is short life is precious and you just have to enjoy it you have to make the most of it this is a really bright pink i didn't expect it to look like this but we're gonna tone it down with a bit of lip gloss yeah life is short life is precious you know enjoy it do what makes you happy you know have a mind of your own as well you know use the sermon that's the next thing use the sermon be intentional these are all stuff that i teach and these are stuff that you continuously will hear me talk about on my channel um i want to do a video i want to do a video talking about health and how I maintain my body and how I just love my body because I love my body and I love who I am and I'm just happy you know so that video will be coming out but this is the look I know it was a very cheeky chat video and the video is probably a little bit long I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows a little bit um this is how I'll be going to take my passport picture um I've kind of filmed this video just before if you're looking to go do your passport picture then if you go like this i mean honey you'll look on bleak um i know my eyeshadow does seem a bit um bold but when the picture is taken the color will fade out pictures always drown out colors in your face so i know it looks a bit like whoa what are you doing but it will all settle down a bit and it will come together looking really natural and stuff um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat i hope you guys can take something away from this video i hope that you can also come and join my channel you know become a part of the tash fam and join us over here um we've got some cool things coming up i've got some cool things coming up and definitely going to be talking a lot more to you guys and voicing my opinion doing loads of hauls, I want to do hauls, I want to do travel videos, I want to obviously talk about femininity, that is what my channel is really about, just femininity and womanhood, so join, hit the subscription button down below if you haven't already, if you've come this far then you definitely should, hit the subscription button down below, give this video a massive thumbs up, and until my next video I will see you guys then, see you guys